But once he was stable, he had surgery to repair the fracture. He had um, a big long pin placed along the length of the bone inside the bone and then some smaller pins on the outside with the bar on the outside of the bone to stabilize it. Um, he was kind of a jerk and <laughs> didn't cage rest like he was supposed to. He didn't care that his wing was broken, so he was oh. kind of rowdy in the cage and crashing around. Yeah. Oh my god. Which actually yeah. necessitated us removing the pins a little earlier than I would have liked in most cases, but turns out it didn't really matter too much. Um, but because of that, he was confined for a little while longer than he normally would have been. Um, he also, they have a lot of their big flight feathers kind of grow off of that bone. So when that bone is injured, sometimes the feathers fall out. So he lost a bunch of his flight feathers. So that Slowed kind of down. slowed down his recovery as well. So by end of November, we were pretty happy that everything had healed well. His feathers had pretty much grown in and he was ready to fly. So the biggest aviary we have access to is only 75 feet. And a bird that size needs way more mm. room than that. So the Ojai Raptor Center has a 230 foot flight. Mm and they were generous enough to allow us to bring the bird down. Wow. And he's been there since, uh, it was December 14th, he went down on my birthday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I took my God. Out. Happy <laughs> birthday. <laughs> and then um, Bob, who's brought the bird here today, oh, went goody. down to Ojai um, yesterday to retrieve the bird. Yay. And we did a quick exam on him yesterday. He's looking really really strong Stand you can't back. hardly even tell his wing was broken his feathers are all grown in beautifully and yeah i think he's ready to go and is there am i too close This 45 pound beaver was found in Paso Robles in Mana Hill inside a barn. When Dr. Riggs examined it, she thought there was a possibility it had been picked up by a golden eagle. That would explain its wounds. It was presumably hiding in the barn.